Hello everybody, it's TWK here and today I'm going to be showing you how to up or how to get custom firmware on your PSP uh, 6.60, the latest firmware. Now I'm going to be a little bit quiet because it's Oh, sorry. It's 1.15 in the morning. So I'm going to be a little bit quiet. I'm going to do this pretty fast. Anyway, what you have to do is first get your PSP, which has been dead for a little bit, so I had to get a new USB over there. Anyway, uh, turn your PSP on. It's already disconnected from my, uh, well, it's already connected to my computer, which you have to have. Got a, you gotta have a memory chip, it's in there. So, let's connect it. Oh. First off, let me show you what the, uh, uh, what the things look like. This is what, um, the fast recovery is, and what that is, it's, um, in a, like, if your PSP, like, the battery comes out or something, or you turn it off completely, you can, um, you can fast recover it instead of having to go into the update, which updates your PSP to the custom firmware altogether. Alright, so first off, you connect it to your, um, you can you connect it to your computer. Then what you have to do is, in the description, there will be some downloads. Um, right here. Um, Fast Recovery and CFW 6.660. Now, um, now both of these are eboot files. So once you download them, which I already have, uh, what you need to do is... Go to your folder where your P where your PSP is located at. Um, go into the root of it, which is right here. Go to the PSP folder. Go to the game folder, and then um, uh, you should all right. Make now there is no folder inside of the uh the WinRAR the run the WinRAR file, which is just an eboot. So make a folder called Fast Recovery and Pro Update, and put the um CFW six uh, 660 update in that folder and put the recovery in the fast recovery folder. They'll both, um, they'll both be eboots. Let me get rid of this. Um, yes, they'll both just be, uh, single eboots. There's nothing else. And the same here. Nothing. Just the eboot. Then, that's pretty much all you have to do. And then, um, just go back to your, um, PSP. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this is the most simple method. There's no Pandora battery needed. Um, so if you don't, so if you don't, if you don't have a credit card or nothing, don't worry, no problem. Uh, download totally free. Uh, no viruses, no nothing. Just don't worry about that. Uh, then what you gotta do, like I said, is cl click on that. Um, right here it should say um, Pro B by Team Pro. Press X to launch. Uh, see it custom firmware. Press Triangle to uninstall it. Press L to reinstall and press R to exit. All right, so if you so we want to do is uh press X to launch it. Press X to launch it. Oh, all right, okay, sorry. And it will say uh now rebooting and it's launching. And then if you have any uh, uh CSO or ISO games uh that are hacked or something I guess or um even or homebrew games, they'll show up. So yeah. That's how you get um, well, uh, that's how you get like uh, Nazi Zombies Portable and some of these emulators, which I'll be reviewing sometime later. All right, so that's the most simple method of getting custom firmware on your PSP. I hope it helped. I hope it helped out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you then.